The third Red Eyes deck this month, and the most challenging one, Red Eyes Equip. I have no idea how it's going to work out, so let's see what well, this pile of Red Eyes has to offer. The idea for the deck comes solely from the interaction centered on Red Eyes slash Dragon. Due to the fact it can negate targeting effects by sending an Equip card to the graveyard. Note that it doesn't have to be equipped to slash Dragon. However, the fact that it requires warrior type monsters as material makes it a little bit tricky since warriors have to be included in the deck due to their typing. You could say the deck needs a token warrior guy. Okay, I'll stop now. It all means that even if we're not looking into Warrior's Focus Archetype, we're going to have to include some Warrior Engines anyway. At the end of the day, I have two ideas for how to make this somewhat work. One is bad and the other is even worse. I'll let you decide which one is which. And first we start with this... thing? I... I, I guess? So this one utilizes Cyber Darks, so any Dragon Monster can be equipped. And we're also playing Phantom Knights and some Destiny Heroes with Necro God not as materials for our Red Eye slash Dragon. So let's go through the card by card. First we have the Triple Red Eyes Black Dragon, one Darkness Metal Dragon, Double Flare and Double Toon. That's very simple, just so we have our red eyes cards. We have double, we have triple fusion, double insight, triple claw of Hermos, double cards of red stone, and triple tomb table of contents. This is quite important since tomb table of contents can search out our red eyes tomb dragon, which we can then use to either use, which we can use then use as a use for using a card that we're going to use. Like a card that's red eyes, uh, cards of red stone, which have a red eye, the claw of Hermos, or any of our draw spells like Allure of Darkness or Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Our Cyber Dark part of the deck is just one edge, one horn, one keel, double can, triple claw, triple inferno, one impact, and triple overload fusion. Impact is here so we can shuffle those three back to the deck, they aren't really important. They're just here because we want to use this and it's fun. Next we have the PK package. With one cloak, triple boots, double torn skills, one shade and triple fog blade. This is here because those are warriors, they can be summoned, they, can, they have effects in grave, search stuff. So it's cool. Next we have our little Destiny Hero package with this Commander, Dasher and Celestial. This is also here because it can be used in Grave. This Commander not so much, it has its niche uses since it can be summoned with the effect of Red Eye Slash when Slash is destroyed and then we'll be able to draw two cards so that's basically the only use we have for him. Dasher is here so he can provide a special summon, which is also very nice. And Celestial is here because the deck runs out of card in hand rather quickly. And Celestial has the ability to let us draw two cards, giving us that sweet, sweet advantage. And let's be frank, every card that says draw two is at least decent. Necro Garden is here to provide some defense. Kagamusha Knight is also a warrior. It's also dark. And it's level 3. But it's an extender. It is a material for our lore, so that's a thing. And. Triple Ash Blossom to provide some hand trapping. For our. Extra deck we have one Cyber Darkness Dragon, which is the big boy Darkness Dragon. I would love to play the Cyber Dark and the Dragon, but the TC but it's not yet released in the TCG. We also have double Cyber Dark Dragon, one Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. We're taking a page from the beatdown deck because this is also an equip spell. 
double red eye slash dragon, one Appaloosa, one unicorn, one rusty Bodish, Cherubini, Cerberus, Phoenix, double Anaconda, and a Link Spider because we have normal monster in the shade Brigand. Brigandine. So yeah, that's that's this red eye cyber dark doohickey. And let's go to the other deck. And this is a cluster duck. It's basically warrior good stuff and red eyes thrown in for good measure. Double Neospace Connector and one Neospace and Aqua Dolphin are basically an Isolde. Double Hero Kid is my favorite target for Isolde to summon. We also have double Ogier, one Oliver, triple Fire Flint Lady, triple Renaud, and the Roland. They're most of the time extenders, mostly Fire Flint Lady and Renaud, and the rest can just equip themselves to a warrior monster on the field. Which is very good, actually. Those are effects that can equip themselves, and Red Eye Slash Dragon likes those. As for the spells, we're playing Heritage of the Chalice, one Rhoda, triple Durandal, one this, one Joyeyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyo
train of thought is going. But we'll see how this goes in the in the stream on Sunday. See you then.